My sister hot glued those stars. Did you pee yourself? So I've been dealing with Tama peeing on the floor. There's definitely some peeling happening. Tama peed on the floor again today. I am at a loss when it comes to our animals peeing on things. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So lately, me and Bill have been talking about, you know, what we want to do to this room, how we want to decorate it and stuff like that because we didn't really do much to change the room when we moved up here, when we moved our bedroom up here. Honestly, we haven't really done much to change any of the room since we moved in, you know, like seven years ago, besides Tobias's room. When, when I was pregnant with Tobias, we painted that room. I feel like tan and brown for walls were a common thing, like, a long time ago, but nowadays brighter pastels are more popular and I've always liked pastels, honestly. Eventually, we're gonna be doing some pastels in here, specifically like a very light minty green or like a seafoam green, something like that. This ceiling has never been painted. Do you see those stars stuck up there? My sister hot glued those stars on the ceiling when we moved in here in 1999. Actually, it's probably more like 1998. So basically they've been up there over 20 years. <laughs> so we plan on painting this room this spring, getting the ceiling all painted too for the first time in my family's history basically because we never painted the ceiling when we moved in when I was a kid. The walls have since been painted because they used to be white, but my brother Ben and my dad I believe painted this room a long time ago. No offense guys, but we can tell that you didn't use any uh, tape. <laughs> Probably because you figured you were eventually going to paint the ceiling as well, but you never did. I cannot wait until we paint this room. I have a feeling the really light green is gonna be really nice in here. Once the brown is gone, it's really gonna like brighten up the room. I can't wait for it, but we gotta wait until spring for that. In the meantime, I need to clean so many things out of here. What you doing? Do you need to go pee? No. Oh, well you were walking like you did. Did you pee yourself? No. No? You sure? You're not sure? <laughs> Did you pee yourself? You got clean clothes up here. We can just change you, okay? Did you pee yourself? Yeah. Okay, go go potty, okay? We'll get those off of you. My dresser is a whole other issue. You like my flowers? Bill got me these flowers. Mm. For the very first time, we bought new curtains as well. I guess we were just waiting on buying the house <laughs> before we started doing like permanent stuff or whatever. I Curtains really aren't permanent, but I guess we have motivation for doing stuff to the house now that we own it. So, curtains. You haven't gone pee. Go on. We still haven't um, deflated this and it literally takes up his whole entire room, but I want him to be able to play in it for a while. So we're just gonna let it take up his room. It's been raining the past couple of days. It's still raining off and on. It's not a heavy rain, but very light rain for the past couple of days. And with the barometer pressure, it's killing my head and nothing is helping. But the slightest movement, you know, makes it worse because that's how my headaches are. I'm sure that's how everyone's headaches are. Any kind of physical activity, especially if I'm like bending over, it makes the blood rush to my head, it makes my head pound like really bad. And I've already had to deal with Tama peeing on the floor beside his litter box. The litter box was not clean, so that's my fault. But I think Tama might just be getting old and he wants to take the easiest route to going to the bathroom. So if the litter box is not completely cleaned, um, he doesn't want to deal with stepping around anything that's in there. So he goes on the floor. Now, for some reason, if the cover is on it, he doesn't want to step through the little doorway to get into the litter box. So I have taken the cover off of one of them. And please excuse how disgusting it looks. We need to completely wash them soon. So I've been dealing with Tama peeing on the floor which having hardwood floors makes us 10 times worse. There's nowhere else in the house 
more appropriate for them to go than right where they're at. So since they're not gonna be moving for a long time, we really need to get this back door area tiled as soon as possible. But I I don't know how to go about doing anything like that. And it's a very small area. We, I could probably do it quickly and easily, uh, but once again, don't know the first thing about it. I'll have to ask my brother Ben because he's done flooring before and maybe my dad as well. Or I can ask Bill's dad too, because he, he said, you know, whenever we wanna do stuff to the house to ask him for his help. So he'll probably watch this before I even mention it. <laughs> I want to get the back door area tiled so it's easier to clean up with the cat boxes being there. The second thing that I had to deal with today, our rabbit also peed on the floor. How you ask? She's in a cage. She lifted her butt up to the side of the cage and peed over it. I am at a loss when it comes to our animals and peeing on things. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. We need to, I don't know. I don't know about Tama. I don't know what to do about Tama. He's just getting old. I got Tama when I was in high school. I was like 16 when I got Tama. Four, 14 years? No, no way. Wait a minute. Tama can't be that old. Wait a minute. Is he? Oh my God. Tama is somewhere around 14. Oh, that makes me really sad. So bottom line is, Tama is pretty old now. Anyway, so that's where I'm at right now. I have a headache. I cleaned up puddles of animal urine from two different kinds of animals. And we got hardwood floors, man. Oh, and our ceiling is leaking. <laughs> in that same area where we had a problem like a couple of years ago, the ceiling in the bathroom, where the pipe goes up from the water heater up into the ceiling. It uh, rained, like I said, quite a bit yesterday and woke up this morning and there's definitely some peeling happening. Definitely looked like there was some drips that happened and I felt up there and the ceiling is pretty soft around that pipe. So there's that. peed on the floor again today right next to the litter box that was completely clean so all I can think of is he really is just like really old and doesn't want to do even the tiniest physical activity although he jumps up to sleep in chairs all the time so I don't know why there's a lot of noise coming from that room from just the phone being on so I still don't know what to do about Tama peeing on the floor <laughs> 